Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Forecap Scaler. Uh, on this video, I want to show you something really quick. Uh, this is still Batman, the Lego movie. But there's something interesting that I have been experimenting. Something that I came across. I don't think this is anything new. I'm sure a lot of you have figured this out. It does help a little bit with the bending light. But not much. But hey, look, the whole point of this video is for me to help you get that best possible, plausible viewing picture quality, okay? And uh, what I'm talking about is this. This right here. Go to the settings. And then go to the... Uh, click on the picture. Go to the expert settings. Go all the way down. Remember. Here, let me show you something really quick. This is really important. I just want to say before before today I can't even talk. I don't know what the hell's going on with me. Uh, I just want to say this. Before you do anything else, follow my steps here. Turn dynamic contrast off. Turn that stupid thing off. Thank me later. Turn the uh, dynamic contrast off. And another thing, here's the trick. Turn off smart LEDs off. Turn smart LEDs off and turn dynamic contrast off. When you turn off smart LEDs off and dynamic contrast off, you will have a little bit better local dimming on this TV and less noticeable bending light in a dark room. Like when you like in a really, really dark dark room, you're gonna notice a little bit of that. And I'm gonna show you one scene really quick where you're gonna see Batman, Lego the Batman guy, uh, have a projector above him and then keep switching through different option menus in a dark theater room and you will see just how much better and cleaner it looks. I'm gonna turn off my light. Here, let me turn off my light. And you notice even here now that there's less of that uh, bending light. I mean, you still see it. You still see a little bit when I'm moving through the controller, but it's not as bad. L look what happens when I do this. Let me show you what happens when I do this. When I turn on, check this out. I'm gonna show you this example right now. Look what happens when I turn my smart LEDs to high. Just look how bad now it is. Look at that. It's like lightning down there. So turn the smart LEDs, turn them, turn them off, click off. So turn smart LEDs off and turn dynamic contrast off and keep the gamma at minus three and keep the brightness at 44. You could go to 43, but 44 it's fine. Just keep it at 44, 44 is fine. And then uh, here, let me play this scene really quick. All right, so here I am purposely now, like from the side. It might not seem that way from you, but I'm all the way to the left a little bit, just so I can see if there's any bending light. There's still some bending light you see that, that mute sound? There's still some bending light showing, but it's dimmed down a little bit, okay? Uh, I understand that it's impossible for the LED to have a perfect deep dark levels. The close thing you'll get to that is probably Z9D, but they have like a truckload of local dimming built into it. Uh, this one doesn't because of the edge lit, but I think this will help this edge lit TV a little bit, so it can dim down a little bit of that bending light. And look at this scene, for example, right here, when he's checking out his source. Look at the, uh, the projector right there. Look how, how nice and neat that looks, because I turned off all of my LED lights. Oh, great, Jerry Maguire. And I, here I am in a, in, in a, in a lit up, uh, not in a lit up, in a very dark room right now, okay? Very dark room. Now I'm going to turn the lights on. Now in a very uh, lit up room. Now obviously this TV works the best in a lit up room. 
Now, some of you are going to ask me, why am I doing the, these videos? Why am I now all of a sudden helping out for those who have Samsung KS8000? Look, C7, I've done truckload of videos on, on OLED TVs, and I don't want my channel just to be about OLEDs. Then I'm going to look like an OLED fanboy or something. Uh, I want to do help other people who have Samsung KS8000, and a lot of people do have Samsung KS8000. Not everybody can afford $3,000, $4,000 TVs, okay? Uh, so that's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to help you get the best plausible picture experience when you're watching your 4K movies. And that's why I'm doing these videos, okay? If I had my LG UH7700 TV, I would have done the same thing for that, but I don't have that TV. So that's why I'm doing this. So make sure that you go to your settings and... Go down here, turn off first, turn off dynamic contrast, turn that sucker off, turn dynamic contrast off, and turn smart LEDs off. And then go to the gamma and move gamma to minus three. Okay, if you do this, you're gonna dim down a little bit, a little bit better. Here, let me show you. It's gonna be a little bit better, okay? You're still gonna have that 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 dimming light, okay? There's, it's still gonna be there, okay? It's still gonna show up, like you see it right here. It still shows up, but it's it's dimmed down a little bit, okay? It's not as bad as it would be. This is why, when I watched Logan, remember when I did that comparison between my C6 or was it my C7, and then the uh, Samsung KS8000. This is why I was kind of like upset. I was like, wow, this looks like garbage. What's going on? That's because I had my dynamic contrast high. I had my smart LEDs high. I had the gamma to the like a plus one. So brightness was at 55. So that's why it was out of balance and it was totally screwed. That's why the picture looked horrible. It wasn't the TV. TV wasn't affected. It's just, it wasn't properly adjusted. Now, if you follow these steps, if you do this, don't, watch, don't just take my word for it. Whatever I do here, you can experiment. If you have this TV, if you have a Samsung K KS8000, you can experiment this as well. You don't need to just listen to me. Go ahead and experiment. Follow these steps. Do what I did here. Remember, backlit, contrast, it's a maximum. Brightness 44, sharpness 22, color 55. There's still clean, but you can keep this on automatic. It doesn't really bother you. Uh, that's only, it turns on only if there's a, like a cable uh, that comes up from your Xfinity or Time Warner. Auto Motion Plus, turn that off. You don't need that crap. This is the most important stuff. Smart LEDs. Turn the smart LEDs off. It's going to help with the dimming of that bleeding light. It's not going to be super perfect OLED dark dark deep levels but it's definitely going to help a little bit okay it's like i'm trying to to make it as much plausible as possible what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to help you to squeeze as much as i can out of this tv to give you a plausible experience so turn smart leds off turn them off turn dynamic contrast off the reason you want to turn dynamic contrast off and smart LEDs off because they're the factors of producing that, that bending light that is going to be so bright. So you want to turn them off. And then gamma, you want to move gamma to minus three. And, we, and look, when you're watching this from the center, uh, it's going to look really great. Here, let me show you really quick. Let's uh, continue playing this just before the video ends just a little bit. And now let me go and move to the center a little bit here. I'm going to move to the center here so you guys can see it. It looks fantastic. So this video is going to end pretty soon. There it is right there. Uh, and uh, hopefully uh, you enjoy this video. It looks really, really good. So uh, try this out. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. All right, have a good one though. Take care.